I'm sure many of you know what the issues are that Disc Golf Network currently has. There are a lot of bugs if you try to stream it to a TV, try to stream from your phone. There are just countless issues that plague the app, but I have a very, very exciting thing to announce today. Starting today, you can download my brand new Chrome extension that is totally free and it will hopefully make DGN a better viewing experience. Let's get into it. And if you did like this extension, you can support me at buymeacoffee.com slash wildrunsdgr. Honestly, every little bit helps. So I know people have had so many issues with DGN. There has been streaming issues. There has been app compatibility issues. There's been a lot of people stating that it was way too expensive. This new pro tier is just not worth the price. There's countless issues with the app and I definitely do not expect to alleviate all those concerns. Honestly, I'm only alleviating a couple of the concerns, but I knew as a developer, I could make a couple of these changes pretty darn easily, at least for the Chrome side. I can't fix mobile. I can't fix the uh, TV apps, uh, kind of stuff you have to get into the code to do. I do not have access to that. So today I'm just going to be modifying the desktop version for Chrome on DGN. So I've been working the past week trying to just nail down what I actually have the access to fix. And honestly, so far that has just been video playback features. So I've added kind of like the baseline for what you'd expect a video player like YouTube to have. I added speed control so you can watch in 0.5 speed, 1x speed, 1.5 speed, and 2x speed. And honestly, this is one of the nicest features to have because if you're like me and you want to just kind of like fast forward through a round and there's just a lot of downtime, you can fast forward, do 2x speed, and you can watch an entire four hour tournament in what feels like maybe an hour. I think is a great feature to have. And along with that, I've made two other small features, but still very fun to have. The first smaller feature is the ability to fast forward and rewind at 10 seconds. I'm not sure why DGN made the decision to fast forward by 30 second increments and rewind at 15 second increments but much like YouTube, I wanted to keep it consistent with YouTube and that is fast forwarding by 10 seconds and rewinding by 10 seconds. It honestly is just like a small quality of life feature that once I started doing, I'm just like, yeah, this should be the standard. I'm not sure why they made the decision. I'm not even sure if they made the decision. This might've been uh, the Ensys uh, Technologies video playback. I don't know. Uh, it's not really important but with my extension you have the ability to do that new 10 second playback and you also have the ability to retain the 15 second and 30 second uh, increments if you want to do that too you keep all the existing features while also getting more features with my extension and the last one is a pretty nice one because Again, it feels like this is just something that should have been baked into the product because for whatever reason, you could not go full screen on your window without going full screen on the entire monitor. So if your browser takes up like half the screen and you wanna go full screen on that half screen, uh, you can't do that on this app. So whatever the width of your window is, the video will take up that full width, which is just a nice thing to have. I haven't nailed it down perfectly, so you may notice a couple of issues. Um, but with that said, I think anything is better than what it currently is. So even if it's not perfection, even if it's not the greatest thing ever, it will allow you to get closer to what you should be able to receive for a product like this. And if you've noticed all the video controls are on that top left of the video playback, uh, you can actually move it down with that little arrow button and that will allow you to move it back to like the description bar. Uh, which I've found is kind of nice. And honestly, this is what I have so far. It's not anything groundbreaking, but I think it is just a nice quality of life feature update that I knew that me as a developer, I could do this pretty darn easily. So all you have to do is go to the Chrome web store, type in unofficial disc golf network extra or go to my link. And there you will see the extension. All you have to do is add to Chrome, accept this permission. And with that, you have it. Simple as that. If you do like this extension, you can support me at buymeacoffee.com slash wildrunsdgr, which is just a nice way to give me a small donation, whether it be $1, $5, or $10. Honestly, every little bit helps, and I definitely don't expect any donations, so don't sweat it. And comment down below what future features you would like to see in this extension, because I will really try to make it a better extension and hopefully make Disc Golf Network overall a fun viewing experience. Be sure to give it five stars. I don't really care if it gets a whole lot of traction, but it would be cool and honestly it wasn't that bad the hardest thing was figuring out how to make a chrome extension i have never done this in the past it is very different than any developer experience i've ever had i usually have direct access to the code base here i have to do like weird assumptions about what your browser is going to interpret on that particular page which seems like it has guarantees but i've already seen there's been a couple of pages that do not follow that consistent app structure so like the documentary style series that did not work for my extension i don't know why but it just didn't 
and going a little bit nerdy, I don't have a concept of state. So state is kind of like retaining uh, your app's history, essentially. I don't have a great way to do this at the moment. So if you open up DGN, watch a stream, has the controls, go to a different stream, it will not show up as of right now because I have no concept of state. So I think this is probably something I could fix in the future, but it seems like something I just didn't really wanna deal with because it takes up a lot of time and I'm not even sure people are gonna use it. So if you guys do wanna see features like that, be sure to let me know. But I think with this Chrome extension, I'm setting the groundwork for what I'm able to do on DGN. I don't have a huge amount of access, but I'm hoping I can add stuff like maybe a Simon tracker. We can see what hole he's on, what score he's at, or a one-click button that'll go right to the current live stream because I've seen a lot of people complain about how difficult it is to find the right stream. Seems like it should be a very easy task, but honestly it requires like five different clicks and you're not even sure if you're out watching like the pro stream or the normal stream or previous round stream. So having a one-click button on the homepage, I think would be really, really cool and I think I can do that. But with that said, there are so many things that I do not know if I have the ability to do because of access. Honestly, if I was able to actually write code for DGN, I'm sure I could get direct access and create fun features. Uh, but I thought, you know what? I will become the change that Disc Golf Network needs. And I'm hoping this is that first foray into improving it. And if you did have any concerns about privacy, my entire code base is public. So you can see all my code and make sure I'm not doing anything sneaky. I guarantee you I'm not, but I'm entirely transparent about this whole thing. So if you did want to look at the code, it's all there. And I'm happy to just give the world a better disc golf viewing experience. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Wild Runs, signing out. Peace.